let's see what is str dot format function in python it's a method of strings requires more manual efforts right you will use curly braces to mark where a variable will be substituted and can provide a detailed formatting directives but you will also need to provide the information to be formatted right so how it will work let's say i am printing hi this is curly braces we have to use let's say welcome to the any message we can pass on then we can say format this is a format method why so because this is a type of string and we are using the format method raj then second argument python okay even we have to say some positioning let's say zero and one okay let's print it you see hi raj welcome to python okay this is the notation of passing on the arguments in format method you see zero and one you can even swipe both the argument passed in the format method like one or two or you can say zero okay so on zero position we have pass on raj so raj would be printing here after welcome and python would be printing at the first position let's run it you see now the output is altogether different hi python welcome to raj so this is the string dot format method we have one more control over string format method or function what is that if keyword arguments are passed or used in the string format method their value are referred to by using the name of the argument we can use a name as well here in the format method how let's say let me print the same thing again right here instead of passing on the integer value let me pass on some name okay language in format method what we have to do we have to use the the same name which we have used in the formatted string okay name and the same language okay let's print it so you see in the third line we have the same output if you have a really long format a string then you don't want to split up right so it would be nice if you could reference the variables to be formatted by name instead of by position okay this can be done by simply passing the dictionary and using square brackets to access the keys how it will work let me show you let's say we have some table okay I have some dictionary with me. Let's say employee name. Okay, that is first as usual Raj. Second, employee age 30. Now, what I want, I want to print the employee name to be printed with the help of this curly braces. Let me take zero. Then I'll be saying employee name, right? And then we can say employee age. You can curly braces. Then you can say employee the employee age. And then you can use the format. Now you can pass on the variable. Okay. You see. So let's see how it will work. There's some issue. Okay, that was the issue. Let's run again. You see, employee name Raj is printed, employee age is 30. This could also be done by passing the table as keyword arguments with the asterisk asterisk notation, right? This asterisk asterisk. Uh, so, how you can do? You can just copy the same thing and uh, instead of table, just put double asterisk before 
variable name and remove this indexing okay from your dictionary object this is the same thing which you done in the previous statement right let's run the program again it will print the same thing you see there is one more thing in string formatting that is manual string formatting right we have few methods like str dot l just okay this is for justifying your text another we have l just left justify the text or a string we have str dot z fill i have let's say city keyword okay that is 100 let me say states that is 50 okay now let's see how l just and r just will work so let me print let me take city dot left justify up to 10 characters then states dot write justify are just 20 characters let's print it okay you see from the left it takes 10 characters from the right it takes 20 characters okay are justify means it will justify right it will take the value from left to right and 20 characters are added before that similarly 10 characters after the value it's called left justify right now there is another method str.z fill which pads a numeric string on the left with zeros it understands about plus and minus sign as well okay so city i have city dot z fills it will fill up the values with zero let's say i have to fill zero up to five let's see how it will work you see we have some value in decimal let's say for sas charges charges okay we have 1.1 okay then we want to z fill this value okay so says charges this would be a string right let's see you see it has added extra zeros before the value up to five okay now total characters are one two three four and five that brings us to the end of the today's video we hope you found it informative and engaging don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on all things tech related. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.